They are arguably the best men's team in the world. The boys from the Sioux, 2013 Briar winners, 2014 Olympic gold medalists. Brad Jacobs has been on fire over the last couple of seasons and has continued here in Calgary. Team Jacobs, undefeated in team competition. Now, they look to keep their perfect record intact as they battle the 2014 world champions, Thomas Ulsrud. Draw nine, next. Some Saturday night skiing here at Canada Olympic Park. A little fresh snow expected, maybe a couple of centimeters overnight before it gets milder and sunny on Sunday, our final Saturday here. Now, earlier today in women's team play, Rachel Homan against Eve Muirhead as they play in three, and Homan really has been on her game. Remember now, as the defending Canadian champion, she will be back at the Scotties in Moose Jaw in February and so she's using this as a tune-up and I'm not sure with this shot she needs much more tuning as she went on to the win and the Canadians swept all three matches this afternoon after taking two of three in the morning coming up will wind up the team play and so really it has been Canada dominating they are now up by the 13 leading 20 to 7 in a race to 30.5 is it a must night for the Europeans you would have to think so if it gets down to just seven and a half with one day to play that's a lot to overcome as on this Saturday night we say hello Canada and welcome back to our continuing coverage of this year's Continental Cup from Calgary Cheryl and Russ alongside I tell you what when you talk about Brad Jacobs it's it's difficult to find things wrong to say or bad to say about him well it is Vic we're seeing our Olympic gold medalists this weekend number one as a team and number one in their respective positions and when you look at their strategy against a struggling Ulster team you know they're going to want to push the envelope they're going to want to push them out of their comfort zone and it's interesting with Jacobs they put that maple leaf on they play for that bigger team and you see them shine well you sure I mean let's turn it back to Sochi how good they look there as a member of Team Canada and now here members of Team Canada be honest with you Thomas Ulsrud I expected more oh, no kidding Thomas the trains off the rails right now Vic they just are struggling a little bit at this point in time but they could get back on the rails soon too but it, it's a bit of a China hangover from Beijing I think slow start but they get second at Europeans won a bond spiel at the start of the year they are the defending world champions Jacobs can't take these guys lightly but if Thomas is going to win this game he needs some long guards stopping Ryan Fry from making those bullets the game plan is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. It is men's team play when we come back. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Frozen food at its best by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. And by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. Final night of team competition and there are two other games on the ice. Nicholas Adin. Bronze medalist Sochi against Mike McEwen, Canada Cup winner, leader on the World Curling Tour. Margareta Sigfridsson, silver medalist in Sochi, Canada Cup winner Val Sweeting, the runner-up at the Scotties last year in Montreal. Time to meet the teams now, we'll feature. And it's brought to you by Home Hardware, homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Thomas Ulsrud and his team from the Snowden Curling Club in Oslo with Hovind Vett Pedersen, Christopher Sva, Torgor Nergård, the world champions from Beijing last April against the gold medalists from Sochi out of the Sioux Curlers Association in Sioux St. Marie, the Harnden brothers, Ryan and EJ, Ryan Fry and their skip, Brad Jacobs. 
and uh, Europe with an early advantage. They won the draw to the button, so they will have the last rock here in this first end of play. Playing the Yellowstones as Jacobs makes his way out and calls for the center line guard. Thomas Oulsrud trying and hoping that his game will come together I mean, really a must win night for the Europeans another sweep would make it almost impossible yes 30 points are available in skins play on Sunday but it would be down to just seven and a half points for the win for Canada and that is usual I would suggest you too much to overcome so guard goes up from Harden the uh, Jacobs team looks pumped for this game. The national anthem, you could just see them. It was like a hockey game. They were moving back and forth. And But Thomas, he loves playing Canada. Always has. Yeah, you know, though, he's probably looked at the stats himself and realizes what he's up against tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no kidding. You know, it's that silver medal. Of course, they did. They were the runners up in Vancouver to uh, Kevin Martin. And then this uh, Ulzru team really did have a disappointing Sochi going five and five. So that's why that world championship was so good. I'll take that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, wasn't Havad's best of t attempt there? No, I mean, then that's the, that's the difficulty, good. isn't it, or the, the problem? You can't afford that. I know it's first stone, first rock, uh, first end, but you want to be out of the gate with some positive uh, shot making. So this European team gave up uh, two of three this morning, all three this afternoon. As we say good evening, Kathy Goche, I just wonder what the coaches are trying to tell them now in a in a must need night. Well, it's interesting because in the beginning of the day, Pay of course said their goal was to win the day, and there's no chance that's happening. And he said they really are struggling with motivation, and so it was in fact Peter Hay that gave them some tough love tonight and said, you know, winning the the cup is one thing, winning the skins is another thing. But at the end of the day, you need to have pride for the countries from which you come. And nobody should be going home thinking that they haven't played their best. And at this point, he said, none of you have played your best. And so for Alsrud, who's been here six times and said he can't remember a time ever being down this far and coming back. He calls it a miracle on ice if they're able to. But he knows that he is in control of one of the games they must win tonight. And once again, you see Patterson going deep with his draw. And the advantage you have at this type of, a, of an event is sharing information amongst the bigger team. So you know that the Europeans, they're trying Great to share information and the Canadians do as well, which should help you with the draw weight and the struggles that you're having. And it's just been draw weight. It's unbelievable. I mean, all the European teams that uh, I, I can't think of a team, the European game that's been solid with the draw weight. Every inch, every inch, every inch, every inch. Okay, go sweep, man. I mean, it's easy up here, but uh, you know, Havad makes that mistake light. Team Canada can't get, get in there. Girls. Right. Christopher Sma. Three in a row. And he had Christopher had such a great game in the mixed doubles. I am number one. Bye. Trying to curl. Nope. I leave. Little on. rub and roll off. How about hearts feet? Oh, the roll go down. Huh? How the roll go? Threaten sixty six. That was a whole lot last eh? pretty, pr pretty much the same weight. <laughs> Some with more, no? What's that? More slide. Good line. Good line. All at the end. Good line. Lots of lines. Wait, per your line's perfect. Line's perfect, right here. Yep. 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 Come on. Hard. 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 Hard.
Kim Kerr. Wraps it right around, doesn't he? E.J. Harden. What about it? This is the football model, do you? They've just really been on fire this weekend. And, you know, I think it is that they've come back from the Olympics. You maybe are a little burnt out. They've had a great season, though. But you come to this and you see that Maple Leaf again and you get that Team Canada feeling and pretty incredible. You know what it's like every time you hear that national anthem, too? That's, a, that's an extra jolt. Yeah, I cry. I cry. <laughs> Leaves the shooter out in front. Good shot, just the same. Now the uh, shot rock's exposed. Everything's behind the T line, not a lot of danger. Yeah, I like that. Gonna be here like, like the first rocks in practice. Yeah. Yeah. Just be positive. Bit of a guess now, it's about a foot wider like than all those come around. Yep. Good information Roof. though to Ryan. They're talking about Roof. the feel Roof. and it's like the first Roof. rocks in practice and Line's that's good. the information you have to be giving Roof. to get that draw weight faster. Room, let it curl if you can. EJ, on the Line's good. Yep, 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 that yep, silver yep, medal yep, 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 yep. In the Worlds of 13, okay, coming break. in a loss to Nicholas Adin. Accept. Burn. Hard look to stop the lead. That was the breakout party for the Jacobs team, though. They, uh, they were mediocre at the Briar. Showed up at the playoffs on the weekend, were unconscious. Went to the Worlds and nearly pulled it off. And they've been awfully good ever since. Torgan Nergord. Knee attack. Yep. Hold. Hard. Hold. Hard. Hold. 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 Very nice. I think this is the key matchup, in my opinion, uh, Torger against Ryan. They both got all the shots. I don't, I don't think I can do that. Do it, eh? What do you guys like? You don't think you can get the nose? <laughs> you don't have to. You can see. Just hit. Well, three quarters. I don't mind trying this. If I hit half. Uh, no, three quarters. Just to here. Even if you tap you it to the back nope. four. Okay. I think Play it tight. Just... Back eight. <clears throat> sure. Ryan's the, the player that's impressed me over the last few years. You always talk about that one player on the team, that glue, and that person that brings the team together. And he's Whoa. just matured yep. so much that way. Whoa. Whoa, 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 ah, close, yep, whoa, whoa. Said they wanted Just to play back, it back tight ball. to yep, that yep, guard. Yep, 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 hard. And how tight? That whoa. tight. Hard on the yellow. And hard look at that. Yellow. They get yep. almost to the nose, yep. and they'll push it back. Good shot. Back 12. That's nice, Kerr. Good sweet. All the teams are getting better at those soft shots, which we talk about so much, but to do it in the first hand, that's, that's a, a great guess. That's a talent. Yeah, no kidding. I noticed that change probably three or four years ago where the teams were practicing, because it is a different view. You have to throw at more ice. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, you're throwing down weight as compared to your control hit weight, and you have to get used to throwing at that much ice. Interesting here. They're going to oh, leave that dangerous yep. tap up. Oh, They're going to go for the back yep. one. He got it. He also well, thought well, about well, maybe well, playing well, that uh, well, angle well, double well, well, on that stone well, just thrown. And now rolling it over and trying to find some cover and sitting for shot stone. Oh, look at it. Let's do this shot. You just hate to leave those rocks that are in front of the T line. It's uh, so usable for Canada now. Well, and they just saw this too. It's basically a tap on that red one that they just threw. Good shot. Changing the uh, brush head. 
that head shot that we had. EJ oh, Harden has I to didn't do a think quick I can uh, equipment you. fix. Got how much weight? Back four? Just, yeah, just bump it. And ready to go again. Just attack. Brush heads can, the synthetic brush heads can not only wear out and they're not as effective, but they can get pretty damp in certain ice conditions, especially with this type of brushing. Yep. 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 And to work they go, the Brush Brothers. Oh. Ryan oh, and EJ. Yep. Whoa, bro, bro. Yep. Bro. Whoa, whoa. Bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Wait, whoa. wait. Yep. Go, yep. Go, 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 go. Whoa. 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 Yep, 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 Listen to this. Right to the nose. Goodness. Eli, edge of the button, shot stone without last rock. He must have been off on that thing 45 times. <laughs> That's why the number one this weekend. That's impressive of the first end to be making shots like that with that weight, great weight control. I love the line too because the, the shot rock or the thrown rock is in behind the cover enough that uh, Thomas can't play the double. Kanske är det bara öppna sidan så du får dra det på. Skulle den för exempel. Sapp eller hår? En glas sapp. And I don't think there's a draw there. It's the port's too tight. Go back to the skip to the your sapple hår hår høyt. Innan, mitt på dig høyt. Hæ? Yeah, no question. Sapple lavt. Du kan fiske ut sjåten med en ny pack, for eksempel. Nei. Da kommer en ny tap, da er vanskelig. Run it back. Risken her, altså, hvis du mister den, da kan du gjøre det. It's not the shot you like. First hand. Ok, please skot der. Pass skot den. Pass skot den. Kan prøve å spille bakom da, så må han spille en ny tapp. På den? Ja. Se minus en kvart stein. Ok, kan prøve hvis du vil. Ja. Kan fire fot da! Nei, du vanskelig rett. Ja. Tror du jeg må vanskelig rett da? For the first stand, they really... Vi må ha litt av det her. Det var glatt og fint nå, så det er egentlig bare å legge på en meter. Jeg tror han prøver å tappe den rock som har tatt den rock, og det er veldig tøft. Han må være veldig overrasket over konsekvensene hvis han ikke gjør det. Han kan tappe den rock som var tatt og tatt og tatt og tatt og tatt og tatt og tatt. Hvordan kan han komme der, gjennom det hullet? Ja, og Cheryl er en god punkt. Du kan ikke gjøre det med draw weight. Du må gjøre litt av speed på dette, så du må gjøre det noen gang, selvfølgelig i det åpne. Du må gjøre det i det åpne. So waiting for it to get off that guard. Patterson, Schwab, through the hole, by the top eight, touch the stone and roll over and sit for shot stone, but it's open, it's in that hole. Brilliant try, that's about all he had. On the phone, he's on the sack level. I was hoping to pump that red enough that the back yellow comes back into the play. Where did you give me? Sorry, here. Yeah. What are we playing? Just roll into the side of ours. Okay. Well, that's interesting to my mind. If you roll to the side and you show him something, even one because it'll be right in front of the. Don't you leave him a double? Wouldn't you prefer to just roll away here? Yeah, rolling away is not bad at all because that draw is is too tough because the guard's too tight. That that might be smarter because if he happens to hit this dead on, it'll be a much easier shot for Thomas. Nose hit here. Thomas can actually score two. I like your call, Vic. Oh, no, no. Yep. Final yep. stone for Whoa. Brad Jacobs Whoa. and the Canadians. Whoa. 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 Any roll? Got Any roll? Bang. Go, 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 go. And he'll sit right there. Oh. And what's he left? I think that's pretty good, guys. Just, oh. just rolled enough. Rolled about three inches, but he hadn't rolled at all. It would have been a pretty simple just double for two. A little heavy. I, think they, yeah. I don't think it's there now. No. A little bit. 
Jo, den er der for to, og da er vi ganske nære å gi bort to. Muligheten for to? Ja, det går der, men... Ja, da må vi sikkert spille i hvert fall... Skal jeg ta CP der her? Jeg tror ikke han er der for to, Thomas. Du kommer til at du klarer ikke å treffe mer enn halve, og da ruller du på toppen av den, liksom. Vi ser hvor garden ligger fra. Så kan jeg ta ikke senteren for tidlig. Vil du prøve med hack? Take your one and move on, sir. Well, considering... You read the mind. Well, considering the way this end started off, wouldn't you just be happy with your single? No question about it. Because if you try for the two, it's just too dangerous. You give up and steal a two, and there goes all the momentum. Egentlig bare for å få en, da. Vi har ikke noe slag for to der. That can't happen to you, you know, when you're you're pressing here, you're down on the scoreboard. But... Very noisy building on this Saturday night. Focus all on this shot for the single. Final stone, Thomas Hulsrud of Oslo. For the single. And let us go over now and check in on the game between Nicholas Adine. Mike McEwen and Adine's last is on the way, Kathy. What is that roar you just heard? Was another great Mike McEwen shot. He made a double off a stone that was half to three quarters buried, and that's why it is two that Nicholas Adine faces. Needs the forefoot. And there, my goodness. Thank you, Oscar Erickson, Christian Lindstrom, Christopher Sundgren, for an early lead. been dancing all over Europe so far 20 to 7 as we enter this Saturday night's team play final team games of the competition tomorrow it'll all be the skins format 30 points will be available each of these games tonight worth one point in that race to 30.5 so team Europe and Thomas Holdrew pick up the single and here in the second, it will be Team Canada and Brad Jacobs. Yep, 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 the Sioux Curlers yep, yep, Association yep, 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 that does have last rock, they have the hammer, playing the Redstones. You see how much fun they have at this event. I was chatting with some of the fans in the crowd, and they were saying that they love to see the players having so much fun. They normally see them so intense, and they are intense here, but they're enjoying it. It's a real different feel. Well, they could perform better when they go back to their regular events and try to add a little bit of that to levity. I mean, they're welded on the corner here. Keep the line so the red one can't be raised on the yellow. Freeze. Well, that's what the sports psychologists always talk about. How I do you like, play I like without feeling the pressure? How do you play relaxed? And See how do you get that feeling? Yep. Whoa, whoa. E.J. Harden. Oh, a curl. Yep, yep. Yeah! Shooter, 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 shooter. And, oh, just Cut. drives right. it by. He does. The shooter does roll away. <laughs> A couple of staggered guards now, though, covering that edge of the eight. New situation for Oldsworth here. He'll be content to keep guarding it, and as we talked about in the opening, the uh, longer the better, because these things will be coming in here at 100 miles an hour. If you can get the line, just a one would be nice, not a, not a three. 
Nicely done. I mean, you. It's curious how the game goes when you go back to that first. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They get off yeah, that yeah, slow yeah, start. Yeah. Pedersen yeah, has a yeah, bad yeah. couple of rocks. Again, run this one back. What are you going to get? What? Uh, doesn't get the shot. Stone opens it up yeah, yeah. somewhat. Leaves the shooter out in front. But here in this game, you've got the uh, you've got Canada chasing the Europeans as we check in on Sigfridsson and Sweeting after a blank in one. It is. Team Val Sweeting that does have last rock. She does. She hit to lie two on her first one, and Maria Pritz tried the double, only got one, and so it is a draw for two. Does need the four foot, though. Go on, two. Line ten. There you go. Really drilling. Shoot. Shoot them. Sweeting out of the saddle. Community Sports Center in Edmonton. Runner up at the Scotties a year ago in Montreal. Canada Cup winner. And I tell you what, Gerald, this lady's game is growing all the time. Oh, and this is just amazing for them to get this experience out here. They're getting that big Olympic feeling. They're getting that Team Canada feeling. And, and they haven't played together as a team that much as this team. So this is a great advantage for them. Yeah, heavy hack. required here just to make the yellow one go away try to roll over to the yep, yep, roll, roll, yellow yep. rock was just thrown roll, in behind that corner roll, guard no, no, no. Brian Curl hard curl my curl hard for a mile uh, he just touches it pushes it a little farther in behind cover a little extra speed there heavy hack I'm not sure what that is but that was coming pretty hard we've talked about it a bit you can just look silly by just throwing that pound extra how much does that brushing that we know is so good by the hard play into that shot quite a bit back it really can it can you can try you hear them say track it back or yeah. loaded it or held it there or, in, in some cases it doesn't make much difference but this surface is the hard pebble and the brooms they use it, it can it can make a big difference and as much so i guess what i'm saying is as much as he may have been a little bit heavy the fact that they're able to brush it and pound it so hard just maybe he emphasizes it more just doesn't give the stone that chance. We, we do a lot of the team I'm coaching oh, right now. We do a lot of come around oh, tap packs, yeah, oh, similar oh, to what Ryan tried. And yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa. Well, he's got this. One more time. Catch it. Look at that. Oh, he touched them all. Oh, oh, oh. He got them all behind the T line. And the shooter stays in front. What a brilliant shot. Even with the long guard, he still made it. You know what, Gerald? This is. Ex didn't you, oh, you said. Didn't you, Cheryl, but this is the kind of thing they have to guard against, right? Running these back. They, they do, and it's tough, and it's frustrating for Elstree because they even left that guard long, mm. but he still makes it. So unfortunate that one didn't go, I guess, a little thicker, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, smart nap, Fry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's playing with perfection, huh? Ricky Lang was telling us before the Olympics they were over in Scotland, and... Uh, Switzerland, I guess, sorry, and they, they were throwing runbacks, and the runbacks were from the hog line in. Time and time again, like shot after shot after shot, and it's a good idea, because if you could ever make them from that far out, the, the short runbacks are gimme. Well, and that's always a good thing to do, practice the shots a lot that you may not get very often, and then when you do get one in the game, you know, it doesn't look uncomfortable for you to throw it. Doesn't quite hide behind that guard. We've been on this sheet a few more times than Thomas had, but that is the straighter side. Same sheet that Murdoch would throw the other turn. The swingy side came up light a couple times. We'll have to see how that factors into this game. But that didn't curl nearly as much as he thought it would. See if we play that, he just tapped. Huh? Can you see this? Yeah. 
Like, do you think it's worth it to maybe try to this, lay second, third, fourth? I kind of like this. Do you? Yeah. Because then at least, at least you got your draw, right? Because then you get, you get two that all chances day. of the draw, even if he makes it. I don't like that. I like that. Huh? What? That's like, he, no. he can easily get at this. Oh, I know. Can you, you can't make this double and be shot, can you? Y you can. Yeah, and then he, if he hits and rolls out, then we have a shot for three, right? Yeah. Or he may, or he, even if he hits and rolls a little into here, you might have, have a double, double for two. For, for three. Or three, yeah. I like nose in this. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. With the guard? Yeah, he just gets everything. So hack? Solid hack? Okay. Great thought by EJ there. He's, he's thinking positive here. He's not worrying about a steal. He's saying, let's go down here, tap this out. If we get that back one going away, you're sitting maybe shot. Third and fourth. One small error out of Olsrud, you might score a big end. Go ahead. Shot rocks the key though, and it's you don't have a lot of real estate game out here. If you're not shot. I think uh, you'll see Thomas play that tap. Guards, no. here they come. Okay, just light, eh? Yeah, light. So Red one could end up pretty good. Hey, Red, good try. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what we were talking about, Vic. He's never going to miss the broom by more than half an inch, this guy, but Probably it was light, and that light allows that a little more time to curl. It was all over the guard. It wasn't even close line wise. Probably. We've seen it go to the wings mm -hmm. very well here on these sheets. Hvor er det var det han dro han her? Ja. Han eats kamp opp det. Han eats kamp opp det, så det er like glatt, tror jeg. Ja, men når han skal opp det, setter han der. Ja, jeg vet da. I didn't see the call. Where is he going? I guess I didn't need either, Becca. I'm thinking top eight. Cheryl, did you? Top eight. Top eight. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for bailing us out. No problem. That's what I'm here for. My nap was good. How was yours? That was awesome. Good for you. Do not leave me in here. Linja bra. Linja bra. Strøk i linje. Lange. Gå! Ja, gå da, kjør! Kjør, kjør, kjør! Aldri slipp da! Aldri slipp! Hard! 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 Beautiful way, just a bit of an overcurl. Yeah, I think he was trying to get a little bit of a rub off when he realized it was overcurling. Even Murdoch struggled in this spot, came up light a couple of times. We, we, we kind of a, thought it was the stone, not the ice, but there's, there is more curl on this turn, as Thomas just proved. So it will be a hair slower. Final stone here in two. Olsrud leads it, one nothing. Sitting Line's three, bite the red. He's the curl. The Rush yep. Brothers. Yep. Come on. It's a big carry. Look at that. Look at that. Sorry, guys. Come on. Three. It's like you knew it was going to happen. <laughs> you saw it before. And Olsrud with a steal of three is up for nothing. Saturday night. Another update for you. Nicholas Adin. As he plays Mike McEwen out of the Fort Rouge in Winnipeg and Adine got one in the first and is sitting one now. He is on his final stone. Adine tried to roll Whoa. it under the guard, was not able to. And so it is a wide open shot for Mike for the pair. Queen, queen it. In this queen morning's uh, doubles here. play, Mike played with his wife. First time ever. Shot. A husband and wife combination had played 
Correct. in the mixed doubles. They lost that game on a last ah, run. Beautiful so shot by Anna Sloan as he picks up the two. We welcome you back to the Mark and McPhail Center and our coverage of the Continental Cup from Calgary. You, uh, it see, you just, you just almost oh, knew it line. when you said it. We've seen it. We saw David Murdoch. It's great. slower over there. Right and guess what Good happens? Right Same thing happens to Brad Jacobs. Steal of three, yep. four, nothing for Thomas Holzhu yep. as we go to the yep. third. Yep. And it is Brad Jacobs who once again has the last rock playing the Good red stone. <laughs> four is a lot against anybody. We watched Christopher make a lot of run backs and some peels and he's 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 made for this shot. Well, we've talked about it before when you're up, you don't have to be as precise. So the shot mm. making, you're not putting the pressure on that we wanted Jacobs to do to the Elsroot team. Oh, he gets. Trick shots. Christopher played with. Anna Sloan in that win today and mixed doubles over the, the McEwens and he made some terrific shots he ever some big up weight shots. Lots of line Pete close room. Even tight fine. Eh? Yeah, they might yep. not even go in the rings with this yep. one because yep. that guard is so long. Come on guys. Effectively on Come this on, ice, it isn't really a guard with all the curls. Mm -hmm. Way different path than mine. What? Way different path than mine. Get the feeling here, Thomas Hulsrud. Got a gift. He knows it. He's up by four, and uh, he'd be quite content to play it just this way. Whatever you put up, I'm going to get rid of. Yeah, eliminate ends. Like we used to say, if we can get a blank, it's a victory. Just you know, just just shorten that game as much as you can now. This is the same as my pass. It should be quicker. It's probably in. Is it in? No. Whoa. Wait's good. Oh, no, okay. Yep. 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 Got a goal. Yep. Whoa. Yep. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. Yep. Hey, Ella. All right. How long? Pull that. Pull that. Ah. Pull that. Pull that. Should be a problem for a trained Maybe. professional. We can really get No. Oh, no. I said, it's only I'm going to go 15. You're well, going to throw some weight at it. I'm a little surprised you could. Or do you want to hit and stay? I think he can see what half of it. Yeah, small half, I think. Whoa. Let's update Whoa, the game between Val hey. Sweeting, Margareta Sigfridsson. After Sweeting got two in the second, Kathy. Well, Val tried the hit and roll. That's the stone that is shot in the forefoot. But in doing so, She's grouped the stones together, and so for Maria, if she can make the double, yeah, get to the nose, it's a little biter on the outside. It could be for three. And this is a huge brush for Christina Bertrup and Ekaterina Galkina. And no, she did not. But she will still get that single point sitting in the top of the 12. Maria Vennerstrom, who throws the uh, second stones, was ill on Thursday, is ill again tonight. And so they've called on Galkina, who throws I, I, like, I the uh, lead rocks for Anna Sidorova out of Moscow. So she is now throwing the lead there. Margareta Sigfridsson is throwing like the, the second stones and skipping. Even if he draws, he might open up a three. Yeah. Choice of weights, I think. Obviously, there had to be some human error there at, the, at this end with Torger, but be a lot simpler to tap that out with something Girl. soft. Yeah, just a little bit too much. Yeah. Let me take in. Line's good. We're tight. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, it's real good. Turn another Whoa. guard on this. Oh, stay close. Close. 
Yep. 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 Hard right. Good. Now left. Now. It's not really playing the scoreboard. Maybe it's because it's behind them and you can't see it. Hitting the long guard, I understand. That's kind of crazy, but you can certainly hit the middle one, which opens up the back one eventually. You give up two, you give up two. But this is Thomas style. He, they're better at this shot. Oh, he's, yeah, I oh, think they're trying yeah. to talk motion down here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here you. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Formal on. Nice throw. Now it's wide open, really. Yeah, that guard is so, it's not a guard, that one that's just over the hog line. You gotta come in now, eh? Or do you want to let him come in? So help me understand, would you, uh, Russ, do we play a guard, he said, or do we let him come in first? What's the difference? Well, I think because Three Thomas uh, kind of head faked them there and, and, oh. and motioned Rude. that he'd like to Rude. come around. If they do Good throw line. another guard, they're Twice. hoping maybe yep. Thomas yep. will come Rude. around Rude. and they can score more Hard. than two. Well, it's great. Line, but you, you could simply good. split the Fire rings line. or go right around the one that's in the rings and try right to up. get three that way, too. Come on, guys. I, go. I like going in myself. Go, 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 go. Just go. Gotta try every to hide this if they can. I got it. Right. To the back edge of the four to sit the two with Last Rock here in the third. That it just curled a hair more. Thomas has got a tough one. Yeah, possibly. So me is the Spilavon. And if we flip back a bit, Torger missed his first one because he tried to hit this one that's quarter buried around the long guard with a lot of weight. Thomas is going to take some weight off at this time, so it should be a more successful. Skip stones here in three. And Thomas Hulsrud. Very nice. And rolls it away to the edge of the eight. It's still shot stone. Or Jacobs back four. I think he's going to think he'll weld one. We no. have to lay two. He won't. He'll, he hit, won't. he'll hit this, right? Yeah, for sure. Just make sure. Just, just got to bury a piece of light, too. Yeah, let's go. Det var litt på vei innover siden. Da kjører han litt frem. Ja, så satte han ikke... Nei, jeg satte ikke så mye som det normalt. Nei, jeg hadde jo. Just got a late two. Full eight, at least. Just as long as they don't leave the double, most likely Thomas will hit the open one and then they'll have an opportunity for their deuce. If you could ever hide the back rock, like half, you know, like kind of Christmas tree at half and half, where you're kind of half buried and the back one's half open, you never know. Room. We've got room. Lots of line. Well, if you can. We've got lots of line. Needs to curl. Needs to curl for sure. Line's good. Line's good. Full eight, guys. Yeah. Yep. Gotta go. Hard. Come All right, on. guys. Did they leave this. Straight up. Keep going, really keep going, keep going, go. keep going. Full eight is what they wanted, and they're going to come up light. Wow. Somewhere it came off. I don't know. They mm -hmm. uh, they thought they, they it. had it. Good, throw. Good teaching point here, though, Vic, that Thomas 
Torger missed because he threw a bullet. Thomas softened it up, and by doing it, he managed to stay. By staying, that red one that Brad just threw is not going to go on the scoreboard. Or shouldn't. <clears throat> Same thing. And just a little across the nose and flip. Oh, and get a quarter of a stone. But sitting the deuce. <laughs> well, this one, we haven't seen many smiles from Thomas Olsrud in the first three days of play. You look a lot more relaxed when you're up four points. <laughs> Well, it's simple. You can't see the whole thing. Whoever grabs that center line early. Yep. Well, yeah. Easy. Yep. Final whoa. stone facing oh. a couple. Whoa. 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 Oh. Clay. Back line. Oh! Clean. Called yep. right off by Clean. Fry and Fry. The Harndon's now just a dust. Shot. For their first points of the game. What? And it comes here. In the third. Well, yesterday here at Canada's Olympic Park, Cheryl and Russ decided to try another Olympic sport, the bobsleigh. Oh boy. They said the track's slow, but we got the quick sled. Coming up a little later, we will show you their full run from inside the sled, gone in 60 seconds. Our eyes are on everything here, so your eyes at home can see our coverage of the Continental Cup. It's the final evening of team competition. That uh, stolen three really stands out. Jumps off the scoreboard. It came in the second on a light draw by Brad Jacobs. But Jacobs responds with a single in the third. It's four to one. Thomas Olsrud, and he has the last draw. He has the hammer here in four, playing the yellow stone. Good. Team Canada played a great end there, and Brad's first one, they just got a little cute with it. They were off on, off on, yep. it curled over a little more than expected, right didn't right sit two. Yep. Yep. Would have been yep. a nice deuce yep. or a good rebound. Yep. 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 Good. Now they really got to work. Yeah, the difficulty is you got forced to one and you lost the hammer, so. Thomas selecting to hit the one in the range. You could hit your own corner guard. I know it's in the free guard zone, but it's your rock. You could run it in. There's that yellow one. You could run it towards the red one that we're looking at. Different option. Hey, let's get up. Well, Kathy, let's check in on uh, Nicholas Adine and Mike McEwen. After McEwen got two. In, in the turn, second, Brad. this is Adine's last in three. Yeah. And it's really a low percentage shot to get the two. He made a really nice shot on his first. Mike came down yep. and froze yep. two, and he's not shot. Yep. So Adine lies one. He's trying to tap his stone at an angle. Oh. Needs oh. to get a piece of the button, yep. though. Yep. 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 Oh, and he'll just rub on that corner yep. guard. Yep. One yellow it is, yep. and we have a tie game. Walk two, two. Well, then. Yep. Line. Awesome real, line. Real. Line's good. Yep. 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 Hard. 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 Straight up hard. Hard. Every inch. Hard. Go, 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 And every inch is a great, great scrub to get it to the top edge of the four. Ryan Fry and Ryan Harden. It's that long yellow guard. That's the one I was talking about. It. It's really guarding the red one, which is really hurting them because of the one that's in behind it. Now they're going to hit it. They actually could have done it one shot sooner. 
Yeah, yeah, I've, I've forgotten for sure. Oh. Yeah. Just over. High guard, right? That looks like a lot of ice. Yeah. Last. Last. <laughs> Pretty accommodating for a skip to say, sure, yeah. whatever you want. <laughs> well, if you can. Okay, just, just over. over. Yep, let him in if you can. Yep. Yep, yeah. get over, curl. It's okay with over, curl. Just line. It, it, line, line's bad. Sit. 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 It looks so easy, Sit. and they're so hard. Do you crave more awesome TV? Well, Crave TV has all you can watch for four dollars a month. For details, visit CraveTV.ca. Oh, just missed that top four foot stone. Just. Good shooting. Gets the two top guards well, though well. and rolls away, so happy with that. Clean. Brian Mine looks good. We play here in the fourth. Four one. On a Mine's night good. that the Europeans Clean. really need You're gonna have to, to perform. Go. You're gonna have to swing. Yep. Leading in one. Yep. 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 Down in one. Tied in the gotta go. other. Gotta go. Gotta go. 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 Right behind the stone. Gay yeah, got hard, it. Hard. Touched it. And a little more. And it'll spin back just a little bit. Looks like that yellow stone still maybe just shot. Enough. And it's uh, not quite behind the guard. There is a, a hole there. Hack. There's a tricky one. Uh, we saw Brad come up light on this side because there's big curl. Nobody's played out this wide. And he could even jam it if he does get through the hole. Yep. And as we watch yeah, Ryan yeah. Fry, we'll Hard. check in on Sigfridsen and Sweeting. After Hard. Sweeting got two in the second, Hard. Sigfridsen Hard. won in the third. Final stone to be played by Val Sweeting. A yep. oh. chance for some really big points here for Val. Maria Fritz's final stone hung out. There is a double for four. Brown, Ferguson, Lori Johns, there it is. One, two, three, maybe three. We'll take a look around the edge. Three for sure. Do you guys think you want to measure that? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put a stick on this one. Three for sure. Great shot. Great shot. Every time you see the Sweeting team, they just I'm get like, a wee bit so better. Right? Like, well, you know, and we'll update you as soon as they uh, check to see if that stone right at the top of the 12 is in. Nairgorn. One. Two. That was a funny thing you said earlier about uh, Ulzrud getting up oh, yeah. for uh, the Canadian games. There, you know, despite that couple of. Missed shots to start by Pedersen. And they, uh, they're playing with a little more emotion, a little more fire. You can see it in their shot making. See it in the smiles on their faces. Danger time here for Canada now. It's a pretty long corner guard. 
not welded on well. You can hit and sit three here pretty easy. In the horse. Yeah. Well, your line's perfect. Line's good. Straight and slow yep. there. Yep. Well, then sweet. Yep. Hard. Yep. Come on, guys. Hard. Hard. Good shot. Trying to wrap it around that stone covering the edge of the eight. And after the measure, it was three for Sweeting and a 5 1 lead as Val talks with Coach Rick Lang. That was a little bit confusing because they said it was light, but they weren't sweeping. And I heard Brad said, well, sweep. So I guess the communication, they were waiting for line. Twice they've lost that rock. Was it, was it a come around or the freeze? Because about halfway down, Brad said, well, straight come around. It was almost like he was changing the audible. Yeah, he said something about it feeling light, and then they, it was a bit confusing with the call on the weight and the sweep. Pretty precise here. You'd love to be back eight, but you can't be much farther. And that late brush and it'll stop back edge. Or here. Thank you. Freeze to this. Yeah, I guess we fit this. Yeah. For sure. Uh, like more? It. Yeah, let's go. The advantage for Brad here is he's just got to throw this shot, so he's got a little better idea on the weight. Almost right to the back, I guess, right? You want it right to the back? Yeah, right to the back. Okay. Now, he could have picked, I guess, played to the other stone, too, right? Oh. Yeah, but and, it's, and, and but it's that side where he got caught. Yes, and it's wide open. Okay. This one he has the advantage of tucking around that red one we're looking at. There's a beautiful angle there. If he gets frozen, it's also going to be partly buried, and that will help stop Thomas from jamming it out of there. You go to freeze to the wide open one. There's extremely good chance right it's going to be on right an angle, and right he just hit it with the weight. Just lie. Never. Oh boy. The Hardens is just backed away now. Trying to slow down. Norgood is right there. And too far. What's the problem, man? <laughs> it's going well today. Extra muscle boa. That's also for him, man. That is extra for kill. This is not quite the Jacobs team we've seen this weekend so far. Nope. Them, huh? Full credit to Olsrud here. Taking the quicker side. They don't say food. My only young. Only young. Aldrey of the line. Aldrey of. Aldrey of the forty two line. Pedersen, Spa will take it in. Pass the ball, jump ball, input throw. Three or one measure. No. They're going to look, and it's three. It's okay. Yeah. Is EJ just going to have a quick look, just to make sure? It's fun. So much fun. One more time. It is three. Three for Thomas Ulsrud in the fourth. Brad Jacobs. A steal of three, three in the fourth. As he said, not going very well. Seven one at the break.
And just a reminder, coming up, we will show you Cheryl and Russ. Goodbye. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years. Well, there's so much to do here at Canada Olympic Park. You can go skiing, you can go boarding in the half pipe. And if you are uh, Cheryl and Russ, you can also go on the Bob Run. Sleigh ride, not Bob Sleigh. <laughs> the only driver I trust is Vic Roder. Everyone says the same thing. You're like, I'm going to be hooting and hollering coming through here. You're going to hit corner four. You're going to be dead. Dead <laughs> silent. Dead or dead silent? Dead silent. Dead silent. You're going to be dead silent. And you'll come down the straightaway and you'll get a real sensation of speed through here. Okay. Holy. Oh, man. They said the track's slow, but we got the quick sled. Your feet either side of that seat. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. on behalf of everyone thank you to Windsport Canada and to track manager uh, Tyler Sykes that's uh, that's great it's quite the place Canada Olympic Park yeah this is what the Olympic legacy is all about the 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Scotty's sponge towels Purex and cashmere proud to support the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts by Tim Hortons, official coffee of the Canadian Curling Association, and by M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. Well, during the fourth end break, yeah, they dropped their pants. <laughs> and the reason why Thomas Olsrud and the team dropped their pants is that they are able, this became a YouTube sensation, to put their pants on without using their hands from the ankles to the waist and yeah it's uh, one of those moments you want to have just in case you need to bribe somebody you know, just to, <laughs> i remember but, uh, they are quite the entertainers old's root they uh, love the game love the fans and the uh, fans are quite appreciative too <laughs> leading 7-1 as we welcome you back on a difficult night for the gold medal winner out of the Superlers Association, Brad Jacobs. Steal of three in the second and then uh, gave up another three spot in the fourth. And it is the Jacobs team that does have the last rock playing the uh, Redstones here in five. I think Ulsrud's team loves to come to right. Canada. They yeah. get to play in front of the big crowds. They're not, they don't have as many crowds in Europe and they love to perform. You, you, know, you think about it, we're so lucky to, to be able to do this here in Canada, all the athletes, because they're, they're one of the best teams in the world, obviously the best last year. 
they could go to their national championship in front of six yeah. people. Well, and look at this Hi. venue tonight. It's yeah. almost full. It's, uh, such a treat for these guys. It's nice Hi. to have them. Yeah, yeah it is. Hi. 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 Well, let's take a look at the numbers after four. And quite obviously, uh, when you look at the draw percentage at 73%, that's the... It, it's hurt by that one draw that came up light in the second by Jacobs. And they, they, he isn't comfortable tonight, is he? No, he really isn't. They um, misbrushed one with a chance for two in the next end. And then from that point on, the, uh, the air's gone out of the tires. The numbers after four are brought to you by M&M &M Meat Shop's frozen food at its best. This all holds a lot of food. That's line. Well, I have to give you both credit. Wait. There was, a, it, it looked like it was a, a quite the run. And uh, with only one right. beep, yep. that was yep. really yep. what yep. impressed me. We only wrecked once. That was nice. Yeah. I could tell, Gerald, when you hugged the driver. <laughs> thank Stop. you. Thank you for getting us, us down. down. <laughs> wow. Can mm. you imagine? And then there are those who do it. Two man bomb. They do it on a luge. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And then on the skeleton, which is, oh, oh. I think I'm going to go face first. Lovely. My thought when we landed at the end was, who would do this as a sport? <laughs> <laughs> For enjoyment. The yellow. Yeah, they were. We're on the yellow, Brad. 125 kilometers an hour at one point. No. We're okay, well, we gotta be, four or five go G's through the corners. Yeah. That's, that's fighter pilot stuff. Yeah. Kathy. Well, my favorite part was when we were in the uh, car going home last night, Vic, and Russ said to me, Kathy, if my spleen fell out, would I know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're both a little sore, are you? Oh, no sore? kidding. It's like you said, Lots five Gs. You know, it's five times your body weight. Clean. Lots you know, I'm 120 Lots pounds, so you add that up. Line. This line. That's a lot of body weight. Nine to T, back eight. Boy, that ride rattled the brain, too. That's right. Lots of lines. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Line's good. Right behind the tee. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. Coming, trying to come around the corner. Yep, yep, yep. Trying to generate something down by six. And they're sitting two. In a 2-2 two -two tie. As they play in the uh, fourth. Well, it's a really tough shot, Vic, for the second point for Mike McEwen. Already his shot. Nicholas Adin tried to Got really right close now, down the scoring area by trying to corner room. freeze close. the shot stone. Mike room. needs to almost cross it, but there is a rock in front. Freely a touch shot. Yep. Whoa. And yes. Ebert yes. on the right. Matt Hard. Wozniak. Hard. Ebert yep. filling Whoa. in Whoa. for Whoa. Denny Whoa. Newfeld. Whoa. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. Oh, look at that. Did he get it close enough? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. For the deuce. We'll measure it. We'll measure it. That's terrific. 4 2 going to the break. That's, that's off my head. Quarter, eh? Bone yeah. Brilliant shot. Oh. I just heard that. You, you know, you think about you've seen the Furby team on a roll, Martin team on a roll, my brother on a roll, and uh, what they're doing right now this season is unbelievable. And listen, I, I'm not going to be the first or the last. Kind of soft today. Lots of lines. They've won a lot of money. Now people wait. say get out of Manitoba. Never want to touch it. Never want to touch it. Valid point. Lines bad. Who's that guy? The guy that's won 10 times? What's, what's his name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, just it starts with an S? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Okay. Stark. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. And others. That's, uh, that ends GA bond spiel is a, is a difficult oh, road. Let's done. Well, and it, and it changes a little bit when you get to provincials when you want the briar so bad then sometimes that pressure of wanting it your level of play can really suffer because of that so they, they, i think they've worked a lot with sports psychologists to try to you know work on their mental side for that pressure stones are grouped now Canada with last rock and trailing by six. Torger Nergard. Torger flashed uh, around a, a hitting a corner guard here uh, earlier. Just tweaked it back on his outturn a little bit. Freak.
and he's tighter than Blomberg. Was there any way he could have gotten the most? I don't yeah. think so. I think if he'd, he'd got closer to the nose, he, that rock there would have been punched out in the open a little more, but I don't think he'd ever get both of them out. Well, walk again. Got room. Line's good. Got room still. Yep. Room, 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 room. Almost to it. No, let it curl. Not much Mine's handle. Okay. Not much handle. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. No. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. Yep. <laughs> Good, right? Try and try. Got. Like, 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 like two turns the whole way. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what? I was just gonna go. I had like two turns the entire way. Yeah, yeah, no. Watch Ryan a lot. His out turn is a softer release, it's a little less turn. Sometimes at the start of an event, he, he, he almost has zero coming in, and he was just commenting on that. So, how does he get away with it, do you think, uh, Cheryl? Because added jizz in arena settings, you put more turn on the stone. Well, uh, the first thing I think is Brad knows how to ice him, and then I think with his sweepers, those two can, you know, carry a rock a long way, and so Brad's seen it, he's used to him, so I think he's used to putting the broom down for that kind of a release and rotation. Well, he'd have to really squeak the guard to make the double. He'd be pretty happy just getting the top one. Skip Stones, all through with his first. Patterson, Schmoff, with a big scrub all the way down. Big scrub, here comes that guard. Got it by, get the top one, touch the back one too, and then roll the shooter over to sit top of the button. Impressive. <laughs> Not quite as impressive as putting your pants on without touching them. <laughs> But this is pretty good too. Look how far the girls are sliding out. They're starting to go in the beginning. Far the sliding out. So they're starting to get a little bit cooler. At the same time, he's picking Jacob's pocket. Oh, <laughs> Punch that right in the open now. Now there's you zero chance for a three. Five one Val Sweeting leading Margareta Sigfridsson and the sitting one at the back. I've been watching and sneaking a peek. I tell you, some of the draws that Val has been making have looked very good, Gather. Indeed, she's had great draw weight. In fact, that redstone that is shot, they they swept it out of her hand. It went by the guard. It actually rubbed on those two yellow stones. Interestingly enough, Maria Pritz never ever looked at coming around playing the draw to tap it back. Really? This is about the run. It's the shot she likes the yeah, best. Yeah, this is Pritz's strength. And sometimes we've questioned it. Running red on the yellow to catch the shot stone and won't. And it will be one more for Sweeting and Canada up 6 1. It's a curious thing, Cheryl, that the, she. I don't know whether they don't have, Pritz doesn't have confidence in her draw, but they just tend to lean to that up weight shot. Yeah, and I, I think she just has more confidence in her hit than her draw, so she just looks at that and sees that first, feels like she can make them, so she throws them. Certainly the ice conditions over there are so straight too. Now now they're trying to get some more swing in a lot of the buildings, but uh, you would grow up and practice a lot on that straight stuff, and uh, you tend to play that style. It's hard to get away from yeah, it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Nice freeze by Brad. Let's kill the back one, give up the two. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Late rush. <laughs> and they do well. I think Nose gets it, but. I think we'll get them also. The reason Thomas just didn't control? throw a bullet down there, he was trying to throw a control weight there because if he had just thrown that a little wider and rolled maybe to there, then when Brad comes down and makes this gimme, it's only a shot for one. 
I think he might have just curled enough that if Brad hits this perfect, he still gets his two, but it's close. I thought they surely saw Brad say he even has to roll just maybe to grab the four if he okay. can, right? He really was trying to get a little bit more of a roll to stop this. Mm -hmm. I think he can get a deuce with the nose. Oh, have it. He looked yep. at it. Oh, have have it. it. Final stone. Close. No. Curl. No. Can't. Curl big time. Curl. curl coming up. Curl, 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 coming curl, up. Curl, coming up. And now where will it stop? It and it'll roll away. So it's just one. a single. One. Yep. For Canada. Just the one for Jacobs. <laughs> it has been a dominating performance so far by Team Canada here in Calgary. In every draw, every discipline, the team in red has been unstoppable with nearly triple the points of their European opponents. That success should really come as little surprise. After all, the 24 players that make up Team Canada are one of the strongest squads ever assembled. On the women's side, you simply can't find a better team right now than the three wearing the red. The defending Olympic, Scotties, and Canada Cup champions are all playing at the top of their game. On the men's side, how about the best two teams in the world? And throw in the defending Canadian champions for good measure. It's a scary lineup, and one with no apparent weakness. This is the first time that an all-Canadian team has taken part in the Continental Cup, and if this year is any indication, the trophy may not be leaving our country anytime soon. And you just have to look at the uh, tour standings and in terms of money's won. Those top three are all here. Now, good credit to Eve Muirhead and Siegfriedson. They're four and five, and they are here too. On the men's side of things, it has been all Mike McEwen. Look at that. Winning six of eight events he's entered in 114. Brad Gushu is currently over in Scotland playing. Brad Jacobs is here. And then John Moore is with a very limited schedule so far at $14,000. But there's no doubt Canada has been dominant so far playing on this third of four days. Now let's update you on Nicholas Adeen against Mike McEwen. And Mike McEwen made another wonderful shot to leave those two stones, and that's what's facing McEwen with his last, Kathy. Well, it is, and for Nicholas Adeen, he probably wonders what he has to do out here. He did have one yellow stone between the two red ones we showed you in the forefoot. Yeah, Mike four. McEwen picked it out, like just razor bladed it. Four. And so it is a draw to the lid that that's required for the single. And it hasn't been a very good Continental Cup for the Sochi bronze medalist, former world champion, struggling with his draw yeah. weight two, steal two, yeah. McEwen's up yeah. six to two. We'll take a break. The Canadians looking very good. When we come back, we'll check in on McEwen and Adeen. So Canada comes in leading 20 to seven in that race to 30.5. Team games, that's where they, most of the points have come for from. That's where the Canadians have dominant. And tonight on this final evening of team competition, the Canadians are leading in two, the Europeans leading in one. We want to go over now and uh, watch a little bit of the the hottest team in the world right now, that's Mike McEwen. Out of the Fort Rouge Curling Club in Winnipeg, along with Ben Hebert as he sits, steps in for Danny Neufeld. He and his wife celebrating the birth of their daughter, Emma. Matt Wozniak, BJ Neufeld. They go against Nicholas Adine from Karlstad, Sweden. Wow. It's six to two yep. for McEwen yep. after Double. that steal of yep. two and five. Whoa. Whoa. And it is Adine that does have Good Last shot. Rock playing the Yellowstones. Here in six. We've just talked about the difference we've seen with this McEwen team this year with how well rounded and, and I think the biggest thing we've noticed, Russ, is the they that that easy weight a shot ability. They really are 
mastering that board weight, that half weight shot. Oh, and then you hang around, get rocks in the right positions, move them around, bounce them around, and then if they have to, they got that big wet, wet weapon that they already had long ago. You know, with those tuck deliveries, they can throw it hard and accurate. They're, they're, they've got everything. They really do, and a lot better attitude this year. The other funny thing is now that we're onto this sheet is uh, Nicholas uh, Dean. Uh, Vic, we were there in China and watched uh, Oscar Erickson and these the three that are playing with Nicholas play so well in winning the silver medal for the country. They have put together as kind of a dream team out of uh, Sweden. They've won half a point all week. You can mix doubles there, er Eric. Uh, Erickson lost his game and Nicholas lost his game and uh, they just can't get it going. Now well, Sweeting continues to uh, make the crowd roar doesn't she she's up 6 1 and sitting two. Well, she just gave them something to really roar about. She made a great double and that is why she's lying too. She's playing with so much confidence. Vic. Remember now it is Val Sweeting won the Canada Cup. Lost the final of the Scotties to Rachel Holman last February. In Montreal, and there's the hit. Oh goodness! Yeah, it's just going to roll too far. One red, one for Canada. And so, now Sweeting looking very confident as the Alberta playdowns are ahead for her. Get off. Um, yeah, they stuffed it. Fine. Was that in the singles? Those Alberta play downs have played in them enough <laughs> times that they're no Good walk in the park. She's going to have to be playing at the top of her game with the teams that are there. Medowin, Carey, Chelsea Carey. Well, that's yeah, that's the big one. Chelsea Carey has uh, left Manitoba and come to Alberta. She defected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you'd come to Alberta. The, the yeah, that's kind of the uh, fat into the fryer, isn't it? <laughs> Oscar Erickson up, up. losing that final a year ago as a Scott as the Russ mentioned in Beijing Four. 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 losing it to Thomas Olsrud and didn't bump that into a worse spot it outcuts both rock and very thick you mean he taps it maybe oh, oh no, for him no, no 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 i'm saying like well, i can make the double two it's super thick but i think we I just know i like this yeah. yeah i don't know if you can Nose. i'll turn real straight let's just throw uh control right here okay just beak it by two if you beak it yeah yeah all right in the holes here with us uh Earlier today in the mixed doubles, this uh, just so easy. Mike played with okay. his uh, wife, Dawn, as we go over and check in on the game that we saw and were watching earlier. And uh, Jacobs Brad sitting the three. Well, he is, but oh, with having last rock, oh, Oldsrud wasn't really easy. worried about the redstones piling up. He does need to make the double. Well, Brad coming in a little bit deep. He can get shot by making the double. Coming. Mike McEwen hits and sticks top edge of the eight. Well, nope. Final stone for well, nope. well, Thomas Hill's well, room. Yeah. 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 And he stuffed it. And now the look around the edge there. Brian Fry. One more time. I don't think it's really close. It looks to be one from here. Yellow does look closer. Yeah. Just one. Just one it is. So steal one for Jacobs in Canada. Down 7 3. Yeah. yeah. So Nicholas Adin, world champion in Victoria, a couple of years back, and, uh, and went to 
Sochi won the bronze medal, and after that, his team uh, going their separate ways, and he was the one that approached Oscar Erickson and said, "Would you like to play together? We'll, I'll make a commitment for four years if you're willing." And Oscar said, "Let's go." So Eric. Wow. Erickson slipped him, uh, back to third. They took purple. Lindstrom and Sundgren with him, and the Dean is skipping this team. Oh, and it's a great, great team. They just probably need a little bit more time to team build, as opposed to yeah, McEwen's team who's been together for years, and they already have that depth. McEwen's team has been together since 2007. It's to be okay here, right? Says a lot. Yeah. And interesting that they were possibly not going to be together at the end of last year, and then look at them now. Right, exactly. I mean, by his own admission, after uh, once again going out in the Manitoba playdowns, uh, it was just uh, before the Olympics, of course, and uh, he went to watch his wife in Sochi, thought things over, came back. Got a uh, sports psychologist to work with. Good, guys. Trainer. For line. Yeah, you got room. He said Lots they were room. really right at the cliff. Back eight. Nope, nope, nope. Why only we got lost. All nope, in never, and going never, their separate never. ways, but they've elected to stay together and having the season of their lives. Oh, the good stuff here. At, uh, Nicholas came a foot too okay, deep. Mike. Oh, oh, hey. Okay. Oh, and it just rolls off. You yes. got to give McEwen so much credit for that because most teams it's easier just yeah, to disband and say, look, it's not working. Yeah. We're not little, getting sorry. the success that we want. Right. Well, but instead, you sit down and you have to be brutally honest and you have to look at what isn't working for your team and figure out how to fix it. So they've looked at all areas, fitness, psychology. And by doing that, they had already the relationships developed over the years, and this is the success they get. Four of the last five years. They lost the Manitoba final, and three of them to Jeff Stout. Final stone. Yep, yep. Chance yep. to get a little yep. closer here in six. Four. Nicholas Hedin. Damn it! No, and he won't. Yep. One red, steal of one. All right. Elected to play the run back. McEwen's in control. Time now for the M&M Meat Chops Final End Challenge. Right after the game, go to finalend.ca and enter the secret word for a chance to win an all-expense-paid trip for two to the 2016 Briar in Ottawa, and it includes tickets, hotel, airfare. First 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card. And all participants will get an M&M &M discount. Finalend.ca after the game and after we give you that final word. It is the World Financial Group Continental Cup here at Canada Olympic Park, the Mark and McPhail Centre. Canada up by 13 going into play this evening, the final night of the team competition. Canadian teams are leading in two, trailing in one. As we watch now, Nicholas Adine against Mike McEwen. Oh, sorry. Now he was trying to play the run. Was he trying to get more than two? Because he could he not have played something softer to come around and he might have been or... able to squeeze the guard on that intern side and tap it because he only had to tap that rock about six inches, but optically it wasn't there. It was certainly it was really buried, and uh, that's Nicholas's strength to play those hits, but. It, this year, he's, he's got what I call a uh, split finger grip. He's, he's got a big, hey. strong grip, and, and he kind of plays with the back of the handle a little bit sometimes. And usually, he, he's money on those shots. It's no different than any other sport. You, you can get off a roll just as easy as getting on one. Okay. I think the, what surprises me, it has surprised me so far. Real one day to go is that the teams here, for the most part, in fact, all of them 
Uh, we've seen some struggles with the ice, the European teams in particular. This should not be and is not new to them, Cheryl. They have played on plenty of arena services, and I think, to my mind, that's the biggest surprise. Why are they struggling with the ice? Well, it can be a couple of things. I mean, I think one of the things is that they're not playing as many games out here, so they're sitting a little longer, not playing, getting used to the ice as much as normal. Yep. The ice is different, hard, even hard, though hard, it's hard, arena hard. ice, and you're moving arena to arena. Each arena whoa, has its whoa, nuances, whoa, 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 and whoa, 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 so the they have one. to figure it out, and it's okay. who figures it out quicker. Pretty good. The theme here, sorry, Russ, the theme here has definitely been draw weights for Canada and Europe. Mm -hmm. Just Canada seems to have figured it out a little better than Europe. Off hawk. Just trying to get around that corner to make the guard a little better. Oh. Just grasping at straws here now. Well, you're going to see many of these same teams next week. We will be in Vamp. For the 2015 Pinty's All-Star Curling Skins game, it all starts on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 Pacific. We're looking forward to seeing the likes of Rachel Holman and Val Sweeting. Jennifer Jones, Chelsea Carey on the women's side. Morris, Cooey, Jacobs, McEwen. As we stay here in Alberta, move up into the mountains about an hour west to Banff. Well, with the level of the women's teams we have, it's fabulous that they've asked the women's team to join the skins. We'll get to see some great skins games. Margaret is six for since sitting the one at the back edge of the four. This is a chance for two. Kathy? Well, she needs to draw the four foot. Val meeting on her final stone, tried to play the double, stuffed it, jammed it, jammed it straight back, and left it shot. But she does need four foot. I could be cruel and ask why she isn't hitting that stone at the top of the. But you would never do that. I would never do that. Because you're not cruel. No, I'm not. Maybe she should have. Oh, dear. And I know what it is. Maria Pritz comes up light. Nice shot. Try beach. Thanks. Got a nice guard now. It's it's way over in the corner, but it's tight enough that uh, there's still enough room to bury here. Should really finish once it gets by. How good is that? The difference with arena ice and curling club ice for the most part is that type of shot where it's still consistent late in the game way out there. Nope. You know, a lot of curling clubs, you wouldn't have a clue what it's going to do out there. And you seem to at the curling clubs, you get that dish of it, so you can never actually draw to the wings. Get around there. It just builds up a, a bit of a cliff over time where you get that dish effect. Run that thing back. Run it! Three blows out here as people watching. Throw the heater. What's the worst that can happen? Not much. The worst thing that can happen is jam it dead on and leave it guarded. Yeah, but that's the way to do it. At this yeah. low. high speed, it's pretty improbable that that will happen. Well, yep. yep, hard, hard. Keep it hard. 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 Ah. hard. And nope, won't touch good. it. Good. Won't touch okay. it. Okay. Try Mike. Try Mike. DJ wasn't that excited. I didn't miss it by much. <laughs> you almost feather it right behind the red. Ooh, that would be bad. <laughs> it's cliche to say the numbers say it all, but uh, when you see 59% and 63% for Nicholas E. Dean, that's pretty much it. Just struggling big time. Player numbers are brought to you by Ford, proud partners with the Canadian Curling Association for 21 years. 
What an opportunity now. What I noticed, though, I mean, he didn't make the shot. Granted, but even the boys were saying the front end, throw the heater. Even the heater for Mike McEwen seemed still within control. That's not a that's yeah, not throw really off. heat as we've off. seen it from some players. Good. There's still some control to that shot. Yeah, we used to say controlled so peel weight because you, you really forward. can get excited yeah. and want to throw it harder than you can. And no different than the game of golf. You you get on the par five and you want to hit that driver 30 yards farther than you've ever imagined you could hit one. And you know, you have to stay balanced. You have to stay with the same release. And uh, Mike threw that nice and clean. He almost made it. Well, and each team has their. You know, we'd have easy peel, which mm -hmm. was, and I agree, Russ. You you are basically caddying your player to not overthrow that peel because it's usually not a clean Whoa. throw. Yep. I've only got easy yeah. peel now. Yep. 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 I only have easy. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. You got the jump in Whoa. behind here. Oh. 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 Good How good. good is that? He just never stops. Magic Mike. Not bad. Good try. Not, not bad. bad. May have shown a little <laughs> corner, but. He just it's quite something the role that he and this team are on. Yeah, he was spun just a little too far. Nicholas Adin's final stone on the way. Sundgren, Lindstrom, Erickson calling line. Yeah, just that little bit too far and quietly out the back for two. Nicholas Adin scores the pair. McEwen has the lead and last rock when we come back. Well, it's time now for the m and Meat Shop's final end challenge. And the secret word is second. So right after the game, go to finalend.ca. Enter that secret word second for a chance to win an all-expense-paid trip for two to the 2016 Briar in Ottawa. Continue with our updates. We'll go back to the uh, game we started with Thomas Ulsrud and Brad Jacobs. And uh, Jacobs is uh, sitting the deuce as Ulsrud throws his last caddy. Well, there wasn't much that Brad Jacobs could do. It was wide open, and so he did hit and stick. And so it is a wide open hit and stick for the single. Jim, 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 Jim. When nothing has really gone right for Jacob's team, at least they can still some smile. Everything has gone right here in Calgary and this year for Mike McEwen. And that leads us to the, the key shot in the second. Sitting one just off the uh, side of the pin, surrounded by a couple. Hasn't much to aim at. Well, everything yes. is coming up roses for this man with Hebert. Wozniak on the brush. BJ Newfeld calling line. Little inside. That enough, you bet. For a great two. A wonderful key shot brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. Here at the Mark and McPhail Center. And our continuing coverage Saturday night, the Continental Cup. So Nicholas Edeen gets his deuce in seven. But he's down by three. And the last rock belongs to Mike McHugh. The guards where he wants them. It's very easy to sit three you know, when you're in this situation. You know, the advantage of the three guard zone, two guards are well separated. Mike's really just going to take one at a time, so play it out. Eventually you draw a second right. one in behind you peel a guard and draw for three and Michael have a wide open hit to win the game But uh, it's amazing how it'll come right down to that last shot many times even though you're three up 
And we have our first final. And Val Sweeting, looking very good and very comfortable, picks up the win, seven to two over the Europeans. So that's another point for Canada. And right next door, it's a win for the Europeans. And Thomas Olsrud make the final eight three over Brad Jacobs. Back in the game. So a split there. One point for Canada, one point for local. Europe, and Ulzru looking a lot better going into the skins play. And that may not be something that the Canadians really want, but it uh, still keeps the points 13 ahead for the Canadians. And here, of course, it is McEwen comfortably up 7 4 and trying to run Adin out of stones. Another guard, a long one to protect the up. two that are lined right up on the center line. Or is he going to go in? Might be a little early to go in because now it gives Mike a chance to put double them off. And he goes with Oscar Erickson. So turn, peel the guard. That's not bad with it, it frozen, but the weight these guys can throw. Mm -hmm. He's going after the guard. I think yeah. he guard. is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kill the guard, BJ oh, you Phil. Right. All right, that's fine. Kind of thought that's what we were doing. Yeah, I, yeah, fine. Okay. Okay. You, know, you think back to Oscar. I mean, he's 23 now, and Nicholas is 29. But Oscar was the heir apparent. It's interesting we talk that, that way because of the depth and compared to Canada, the lack of depth in in Sweden. But Oscar was an alternate in Vancouver to Adin at the Olympics, and he was the alternate. Adin in Sochi so yep, yep. growing up under Good. him watching him and then Good. chosen to go so to the worlds because Adin was busy Thanks. with Sochi That's and now here they are playing together it's it's the way the Swedish program works it's what's Paya Lindholm has developed and he's sort of mixed matched and now has this force I think that's brilliant to uh, just took all your eggs in one basket. Oscar was coming up with his young team and then of course they put it together for the super team now, but it was nice to see him get that experience, uh, you know, dip your toes in the water in, in China at the world level. And of course they did exceptionally well at getting the silver. They are seventh on the order of merit right now, this team. So, uh, you know, they're, they're winning some money. Well, we've talked about it a bit that this year is an odd year leading up to the next Olympics and you know you've got this year where p teams take a little bit of a break they do some work they do some fitness building so sometimes they don't play as much or as hard as they normally would And he didn't want to run that straight back. Oh, and a lot of people would say, well, do you let it curl and you might get them. But if you ever hit it dead on, Shot. there'd still be two yellows yeah. buried and a guard. You loop the third one around. Now you have to make a run so back. All <laughs> uh, <laughs> his version of the Stoughton Spinorama. Down by three. <laughs> Just needs to curl a bit. Oh, it yeah. did. Uh, <laughs> there you go. And it's a win for McEwen and another point for Canada. And the Canadians will take a big lead into tomorrow's final day of play. Final 7 4. McEwen wins it. He has been the most impressive of all the teams, although I'll give some credit to Val Sweeting.
she's looking very good on the women's side of things for Team Canada. Fabulous. So it's a 22 to 8 lead and a race to 30 and a half. And it's all skins play coming up on the final day, Sunday. Mike McEwen played the mixed doubles this morning. Randy Furby over to congratulate Pat Wozniak, BJ Newfield, Van Hebert. Well done, boys. They're playing well. 7-4 your final and really it was that the great draw in four we showed it to you to pick up two and then Eden's just hasn't had the draw weight we've seen the Europeans whether it be David Murdoch Nicholas Adin, and even Thomas Oldsrud before tonight struggling the game story is brought to you by Tim Hortons the official coffee of the Canadian Curling Association The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of the Canadian Curling Association. By four proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years and by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. So on an evening when really the Europeans needed more points, they only pick up one, losing two of the three team games. And look at that, 14 to four in team play. And there's no way coming in you would have thought it considering the quality of the European teams. So it's 22 to eight going into tomorrow and it'll be all skins play, men's, women's and mixed at 1.30 Eastern time and then again at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time when we join you again, final day. The Canadians are within eight and a half points of the Continental Cup. Keep your pants on, we'll be back in a few hours. Continental Cup on Canada's Sports League, TSA.